story. Now, Panya Khamrab, who is the shooter in this case, uh, has died. This is what we are learning. He, in fact, drove back to his house and shot and killed his wife and child before shooting himself. Abhishek, now this person seems to be of unsound mind. Now we are getting to know that he has killed himself, but after killing his wife and child as well. So, I mean, uh, one can only assume the, the madness or the craziness of this person who was, who was under some uh, some trauma or some mental illness that he was suffering from that he went on such killing his free, uh, killing all the innocent lives and taking life of his own wife and of his, of his own kid and then killing himself. So before even dying, he created such a horror and terror uh, across uh, that region that is unbelievable and unimaginable. But the trace of suffering that he has left uh, before he could uh, be, be found dead uh, is unimaginable for the parents of those kids who have been dead now and all the the, the scenario, the, the police officials who are trying to investigate as to what could have led to this this whole uh, crime that has happened in this uh, part of Thailand. All right, Abhishek, uh, earlier I was also talking to you about the rate of gun ownership in Thailand, which is very, very high. Of course, official figures are only something that we can talk about. However, people who have unlicensed guns also is a lot in the country. So if you could like to... If you would like to just throw a light on that fact also, considering this person who we're talking about was an ex-police officer. So he was a well-trained police officer and uh, he was recently, uh, apparently it is believed that he's, he was recently sacked from his service. So he was a well-trained officer. He knew where could he find all the arms. Uh, he knew how to operate them. He knew where the ammunition could be found. Uh, we know that uh, there is a lot of uh, unorganized and both organized crime that is hap that happens in, in Thailand. There is a drug card cartel that operates. There are uh, flesh trade that happens. Uh, there are so many uh, illegal activities that happen at a very large scale in various parts of Thailand. So we can, uh, it, it's not something that Thailand does not have history of such crimes or gang, yes. gang war. So uh, it is uh, quite believable that a person who wants to uh, get or procure all these uh, illegal weapon and ammunition from some corners uh, will be very much able to do that. And especially if he was a police officer, he knew uh, where to connect and whom to contact for all those illegal weapons and ammunition. So it was not a very difficult task. But uh, since uh, now it is believed that he had some mental issue, he mm. got all those weapons and ammunition procured from somewhere. And then he went on this firing spree, killing all these 30 plus people, uh, including most of them young kids. Uh, this is a horrible, most uh, crime that has happened in the recent times. And since now he's dead, so probably we'll never be able to find the reason or motive behind what led uh, him to do such a crime and create such a terror and panic among kids. Uh, most unfortunate incident that has happened. And uh, uh, people of Thailand would surely be mourning at this point as to what no, has happened in their society. Right. Abhishek, uh, Abhishek that uh, taking us through all the details that are coming to life from the northeastern province of Thailand. This is a, a preschool that we're talking about, a daycare center, where young children uh, have been killed because of this mass shooting that happened by an ex-police officer who's uh, Panya Khamrab, that's the name of the shooter. He, in fact, eventually ended up going back to his house after this entire incident, shot his wife, shot his child, and then shot himself. This is the latest that's coming out. Very, very unfortunate schemes that we are showing for our viewers from this school in Thailand. This is the northeastern province of Thailand. Abhishek, you were talking about the gun ownership and how it has always been a troubled territory in Thailand. Also, if we talk about the demography of the place and the porous border and the strife-torn neighbors, that something really adds to the crime rate in, in Thailand as well. Of course, and we know that though Thailand has been one of the most love the tourist destination but there are pockets in thailand where those uh, uh, organized drug trafficking and arms supplies and illegal trade does happen uh, that includes uh, trades in uh, uh, you know wildlife trades in uh, drugs trades in ammunition arms there's a porous border with Myanmar also of thailand that we have seen recently how people uh, from india were taken to thailand and from there they were taken forcibly to Myanmar and they were asked to do those cybercrime activities and con people from across the world. So there is a very well-organized, structured, organized crime setup in those parts of Thailand, which operates within Thailand also. And so uh, procuring a gun 
or getting uh, some live arms and ammunition from anywhere is not a very difficult task for somebody who is so mad that he wants to uh, take lives of others and uh, wants to kill himself also. He was a police person, mm -hmm. the one who, who we are talking. So it was not a very difficult uh, task for him to get all this ammunition, all these weapons, all, this, all these firearms. He procured them and uh, it, it, it will be really difficult for the authorities to pinpoint as to what led uh, to such a mental trauma for that person so that he went ahead with all this horrible crime that that we are currently talking about. Probably his mental illness only led to his attacking from the police service, And mm. uh, but the agencies could never imagine that once he'll be sacked, he'll go on such a, uh, such, such a killing spree. Uh, and now we are reporting that almost 30 plus uh, people have been killed, most of them young ones, uh, two uh, teachers, authorities, people who were present at the crime scene, those who tried to intervene this, uh, this killer, they have been killed. The, this killer has uh, gone back to his home, killed his wife, killed his kid, mm -hmm. and then he uh, died shooting himself also. Right, Abhishek, once again for our viewers, Panya Khamrab is the name of the person. He's an ex-police officer. He was sacked from government services, like Abhishek was mentioning. He went on a shooting spree in this daycare center in the northeastern province of Thailand, where unfortunately young children, more than 30 possibly have have to lose, lose their lives. Now, uh, Mr. Khabra, after that, went back to his house. He ended up shooting his wife and child as well. We can only think about his mental state. We do not know what led to this. However, we do know he was sacked from services. Abhishek, we were talking about a mass shooting incident in Thailand. However, this is not the US. This is Thailand we are talking about. Mass shootings are not... You know, very, very, uh, it's very rare in Thailand. I think one such incident was back in 2020, I was reading about it, where an angry soldier had actually gone on a rampage. So this incident is, is sort of standalone because we do not see something like this in Thailand. At least the history tells us that. Of course, uh, and we know the kind of mass shooting that takes place in USA almost like every week. There are various incidents of mass shooting that takes place in some part of US or other. That is not very common in other parts of the world, especially in Asian countries. Uh, if you talk about uh, uh, Thailand, these mass shootings are rare. There have been rare uh, incidents of somebody going berserk and shooting others uh, other and taking innocent lives. Uh, the one